Hello, I'm Lila Brown with Crystal Weavers. Come join me, won't you, to celebrate Madam Moon with the full moon ceremony. I have already created a safe and secure container here for our full moon ceremony. And we do have a thunderstorm that is passing by. So we will work with the beings of the thunder clouds um, during our musical meditation today. Today I am in Brookings, South Dakota at a lovely park called Dakota Nature Park. And the um, interesting feature here, besides all of the beautiful ponds that we have, um, the feature that's interesting to me is the prairie hill that you see in the background is actually an old landfill that they um, have now planted with prairie and it is now part of a beautiful park. They have bike paths and walking paths um, all along the, the top of what was a landfill. So it's wonderful to see um, the reuse of something that uh, can sometimes be an eyesore for us humans and our continual consumption. <laughs> I sense that the air beings, Thunderbird and everyone else, agrees with that statement. As you know, I like to work with the plant medicine of tobacco. I have already worked with tobacco to create our safe and secure container here and to clear my own energy field, to bless the altar, to call in all of the directions, including west. The cardinal direction of west is aligned with full moon. I have also called into the container um, Madam Moon and those beings that live here in this middle world who are of 100% pure source, love and light. What I would like to do now is offer a tobacco blessing to you. Uh, you can abstain from this if you would like and you can either sit back and observe or you're very welcome to um, click through the video to the next time stop. So. Oh, tobacco, please take our prayers. Oh, tobacco, please take our prayers. Tobacco blessings. Blessings to you and blessings to fire. Please assist us now in taking our prayers to spirit, pure source, creator of all that is. Please assist us now in creating a safe and secure container at our um, guests, those who are participating today. And we also ask that you assist in clearing their physical energy field as well. Blessings to the beings of the clouds. We could use some rain. All right, I will ask Tobacco to assist in clearing your energy field. We will go first from your crown up through your Holy Spirit, Column of Light. We will now clear down the front. We will now clear down the back. If you cup your hands, I will place this smoke into your palms to open the portals in your palms. And now I will place the smoke into your palms again and you can fix it on your energy field wherever you feel you might need a little more assistance. Now I will ask the smoke to come through the screen towards you to clear your ceremonial space there. Um, if you choose to accept that um, is up to you. You have a choice.
As I mentioned, full moon is aligned with the West. The West and full moon is the internal masculine. The internal masculine is the steady and sturdy. It is the strength. It's the steady as you go. It is what your feminine side can lean into. The west and full moon is a time when we harvest what we have been working on. All right, so during this moon cycle, our intention is to find your spark. What makes you tick? All right, and in the first quarter moon, we worked with honing that skill, with bringing it to a bigger fruition, to focusing on it and becoming more proficient at whatever it is that is really the spark of your life, what really fills you with joy. Now during full moon, it's time that we harvest that. The proverbial harvest and the proverbial time to take all of the um, dry stalks and stems and things and pull it out and gift it to Mother Earth as compost, okay? The west and full moon, as I said, are the, are the masculine. They're standing here saying, okay, what is it that you have manifested? What is it that you're harvesting? And what is it that you want to set down? As you're harvesting your uh, spark, as you're honing it and focusing on it, there were probably things that you became aware of in your life that are maybe blocks or are patterns, perpetual patterns of thoughts or of emotions that just kind of keep you in place or prohibit you from really embracing what your true passion is, okay? Uh, so now in full moon is when we focus on those patterns, those false beliefs, those things that maybe um, occurred in childhood that you now feel like, oh, you can't, you can't do this thing, you can't be the spark that you wanna be, uh, because of this. Okay, now is the time for you to set those aside. Now is the time for you to pull them up and discard them as compost. Place them into the fire, um, you know, allow the waters to melt them away. And we can even look to the sky, to Thunderbird, and ask for it to whisk it away from us as well. Full moon is a portal for us and so we can gift it to full moon as well and then she takes it off the earth plane for us that's a wonderful thing to do because as you are releasing something and asking madam moon to take it off the earth plane for us personally we are removing that from our entire earth plane and so we're removing it little by little for all of humanity and so that is how we can assist the humanity and as a whole in upshifting as well. So keep that in mind. Um, some of the patterns that may be surfacing during this moon cycle with this intention is um, things that we maybe had placed in our thoughts as a child or even from past lives like are you truly worthy of having this as your passion or as your focus or as your goal? Um, or perhaps is your spark or what makes you tick, is it socially acceptable? You know, maybe you really love to work with your psychic abilities or maybe you really love to work with your telepathic ability to talk to the trees or maybe it's as simple as you just really, really enjoy being on the water, okay? So these are things that help to make you have a, a better life. It gives you a better life. It gives you 
more cheer. And so when you come upon these blocks, when you come upon these old thought patterns, just diligently work on setting intention to set them down, okay? They no longer serve you. They were placed there a long time ago under a circumstance or a situation that is completely irrelevant to who you are now, okay? Today we will have a musical meditation. I will work with the metal bowl and I will also work a little bit with my wood flute. We also have the music of the thunder um, to accompany us as well. So I welcome you to sit back and relax. You can close your eyes if that helps you or you can simply watch the video and enjoy the video. Um, the view of the waters and the view of the, the sky. Um, the purpose of this musical meditation is to allow your mind to wander a little bit and think of scenarios and situations that you come upon in your life that makes you feel stuck, that feel like blocks to this process that we're talking about today.
time to come back. Time to come back from wherever you were. Time to come back into your physical vessel. Thank you, Ball. Thank you, Sloop. Thank you to the Thunderbird. Thank you to all of the beings here who assisted with this beautiful musical meditation. If you've closed your eyes, it's time to open them. Time to stretch your body. And make sure you're all back. Take a big drink of water. Let's do a short grounding session so that we can make sure that we are fully in our body and anchored um, for the remainder of our day, okay? So through our breaths, we're going to first go to our heart space, and then we're gonna go to through our solar plexus, and then we're gonna go down into our tummy, our gut, the sacred vessel. The sacred vessel is a very powerful area. That's actually where we can anchor our internal masculine. So I would recommend that you work with your sacred vessel this week as you are working with your internal masculine to dig up and release all of that which no longer serves you. Really dig into and anchor into that sacred vessel so that you can utilize that energy for your strength and your sturdiness while you are working through some pretty challenging emotional things, right? So the emotions are like dragging you down and feeling really heavy and making you feel like you're stuck. And so when you anchor into that sacred vessel, that's your energy generator and that's then what will assist you in being able to literally and proverbially stand up in your power and really claim your, you know, claim your spark, claim who you are, claim who you want to be, okay? So first breath goes in to our heart center and we're spiraling it there. And then we exhale. Second breath in through the heart center in through our solar plexus into our sacred vessel and we're spinning it there, spinning, spinning, spinning it there and then we exhale. Our third breath is gonna go through the sacred vessel and into the root chakra. So in, heart, sacred vessel, through your root chakra and down into Mother Earth. We ground into Mother Earth today. Please breathe at your leisure. We ground into Mother Earth today so that we can anchor ourselves nice and sturdy into the earth. And we will also be asking for her assistance in bringing up some energy to fill our sacred vessel with more of the benevolent energetics that are uh, all around us for us to utilize for our own health and well being. From your root chakra. Let's imagine that we're sending down a column of light, a column of light, a conduit deep, deep, deep down into the earth. As I say, way past the downfall world, way past all of the debris that humanity has um, placed within the soil. So we're gonna go miles, hundreds of miles down, deep into the earth where we can locate and feel the very deep and beautiful benevolent energetics of our pure mother earth she's down there and she's happy to allow us to connect with her in that way and so we put our column of light down there down 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 and then when you reach a certain point where you feel her benevolent energetics her nurturing loving support you can put some um, spread your conduit out a little bit and maybe allow it to wrap around the roots and um, rocks and crevices and things that are down there. 
and just allow yourself to anchor there. Anchor very strong and sturdy. And as you're there, we're going to ask our beautiful, benevolent Mother Earth if we may um, utilize some of her energy, if we may take up some of her energy as well and bring it up, 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 up through that column of light and through your root chakra and place it into your sacred vessel, your sacred vessel here and fill it up, fill it up, fill it up. The sacred vessel is an energy compressor. It can compress and compress and compress, compress. And so then uh, as you work through your day or as you're facing a bit of a challenge, you can dig deep into that sacred vessel and utilize the energy for your own strength and your own purpose. All right, thank you so much for joining me today for our full moon ceremony. What a lovely place here. I'm just so thrilled to have the um, Thunderbird and all of the storm beings here with us, assisting us in celebrating with full moon. Deep gratitude to Madam Moon herself for being here in the container and also deep gratitude to the Spirit of the West who is here assisting us as well. You may continue to ground for as long as you would like. I'm going to um, extinguish the flame and close the container after we complete the video. So, thank you for joining me today. May you have a fantastic full moon week. Reach out to me at any time if you need additional assistance from the external world. Love you. Blessings of peace-built coalescence.